Ah, uh, yo, check it out, good y'all, man, listen. Excuse me. Okay, that was good, y'all, man. Let's get back to the game. This time I got Life is Strange Before the Storm, episode two, man. I don't really got shit else to say, so I ain't finna waste nobody's time. We just finna hop right into it, bro. I'm gonna teach this little punk some man. His ass look like a cricket. I see you slipping. Shut up, bitch! We don't have to like each other. Man, you and respect, respect me. me. How about you eat a dick and Hello. die? Yep, siren screech. That's one thing cheaters don't understand is that you don't just fuck your spouse. You fuck your whole family. If you got one. Damn. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. That white woman I'm has so some sorry we're late. <laughs> my, my shift ran late at the diner and then just sorry. Who is that? Oh, that's her mama. My bad, Rachel. Proceed. Whoops. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. You actually agreed to run away from here. Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? No, I was daydreaming Price, about my cooch. The last time Sorry. we met, witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. Didn't happen, but okay. Involved means not sticking out my neck for Blackwell's richest ass child. I didn't realize that was a crime. Your lack of awareness does not absolve you of anything, Miss Price. Okay, but you can't oh, pin Chloe. that bullshit on me. Bullying? Oh, bitch. Maybe you Existing should be talking to die. Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Right. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. What the fuck they got to do with me, though? This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I need to do it. Girl, what? sit the what? fuck down. What? Girl, sit down. Chloe don't want to go to school no way. And then she want to be an actress. But I okay. Listen. All right, whatever. Rachel, Rachel! See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt. So she came with me. But only to keep me safe. Oh my God. <sighs> Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Hey, hold on. This is the thing real quick, though. And I, I'm going I'm to I'm let it play after this. When motherfuckers lie for you, it be... Because y'all know I don't lie. Y'all know I do not lie. So when people lie for me, they think they making my life easier. And I have to get them props for trying to look out for me. But honestly, it makes shit harder for me. Because now I have to go along with that lie that I know I don't have the memory to do. I don't, I don't have the memory to keep up with that shit for long. And then I don't have the energy to keep up with that shit for long. So eventually, it's going to come out. And then it's going to end up making us both look bad. And whole time... It's gonna be all my fault Even though you was trying to stick up for me But god damn it I ain't tell you to do that shit Just wanted to get that out there Ray Ray Miss Amber I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you Who are you? You're not my fucking father bitch Get back This being your first bald infraction bitch. In no way reduces Shut its Shut out all my bald niggas Still we will not be suspending you at this time And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest Mm. Please don't tell me how to run my school. Somebody needed to tell you a few times though, cause you wasn't shit, you ain't been shit, you still got embezzlement money in that fucking drawer. Shut the fuck up. That is such what was that, Miss Price? Eat a dick Chloe and die. Up, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. Joyce, please shut the fuck there up. Is Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next. Unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. I'm going along with Rachel, take the blame. I'm going along with it. She did do that. No. Nothing to add. She did that shit. I'm glad I have no choice but to suspend you for the rest of the year. Do you but it was the other girl's idea. She confessed. And she will be punished accordingly. But that does not absolve Chloe of her responsibility. Do you understand me? Yeah. Give me, give me up I out mean, of here. As much as I ever do. Give me up out of here. I don't even want to. I don't want to interact with none of these niggas no more. Get the fuck we out my ear. Understand, air. Mr. Wells. Yeah, Come damn. On, Chloe. Boy, Rachel, mama's slugging a little bit. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I know most of my subscribers are women, so y'all, I know y'all gonna be on my ass about that. But come on, bro. If do it I'm make sorry. you hold on? Do it make you feel better if I say this? And this, this is the truth. This is the truth about me. Hold on. Let me get some water real quick. Did that make you feel better, bro? <laughs> no, on some real shit, though. On some real shit. No, and, and I don't I don't have to say no homo. I almost said no homo, but no, I don't have to say no homo. This is where I stand for real. I look at I look at all butts. I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 my eyes just do it. You know what I'm saying? I even, I even, you know, y'all saw how I was reacting to David in, in The Walking Dead. That nigga was slugging. The fuck? So just because I'm looking at your ass and go, damn, that don't mean I'm sexualizing you. It don't mean I'm thinking about... I'm not thinking about it. I'm just looking at the image like, whoa, that motherfucker poke a little bit. You know what I'm saying? All right, bro. I'm done. I'm sorry, too. Meet me at the junkyard later. You bet. Look at him. He think he cool. 
Get the fuck out of my Mom, face. I'll um, see you in the parking lot. Chloe, stop trying to talk to this bitch ass lady. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. <laughs> Chloe be looking crazy sometimes. My gosh. What does that say? What are you doing? You're vandalizing the property. Chloe Bryce, almost. All right, where's the weed, man? Why the fuck as a security guard are you jumping because I put a fucking trash? I put trash in trash, nigga. Is you crazy, nigga? That old ass donut in the back. Disgusting. Ew. The fuck? Ew. Jackpot. Now you should have that motherfucker ain't rip apart though. Wait. What the hell? What happened? Damn it, Justin. Uh I had to borrow your stats just for times, you know, I promise I get- That's fucked up. Hey, that's why you don't get niggas your combo. That's a bitch-ass nigga. That's a bitch-ass nigga Fuck right there. every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? Okay. <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Dude, do I ha why do I have to do okay, I'm already- uh If it's fuck this place, then why don't you just hurry up and get out? Why do you want to be here any longer? Alright, bro. And then they play this fucking get ready music. Get down and dirty. You wrote all of that? That was you! What did you say? Well, I'm still here like a cheap threat. What? I mean, she got- she got the pen for real. I ain't talking about- I ain't talking about like the rapping pen. She got that- Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I should say she got that brush for real. She got that brush for real. <laughs> Why does she look back like that? There go Mr. Jefferson and his uh and his little uh his little wraith. What is she talking about? Max Whoa! Abandoned me the way real Max did. Seriously, we'll get revenge. What are you talking about? Oh, do your little eee! grab that bitch and take it. Nope. It's about damn time. It's about David, time. Okay. Please. You know what? I'm gonna stop trying to be like Chloe. I'm gonna stop trying to have these comebacks. Bitch built like SpongeBob. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Why do you have a square torso? I don't care. I don't care. I know. That's what we need to talk about. I don't care. Part two. Get out of my face. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. Bitch, I'm talking to you. Or what, David? What will you do? You do not want to test me. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. Man, come on now. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? There's nothing wrong with waiting tables, Mom. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? What do you want? Maybe... I don't know yet. Maybe you've had long enough to figure it out. See how... Uh, you? <laughs> I be... I be... Somebody in my comments was like, you know, I usually like Joyce, but I never watched Before the Storm. I be trying to... I be trying to give Joyce grace. I really do. I be trying to give her grace. And then the moment I'm like, all uh, right, she's, she's coming around, she gets right back on that bullshit. Once again, how the fuck in the moment of vulnerability do you stab my shit again? You don't really say these... You don't really say these soft and emotional things for us to have a connection. You say it for me to open up so you could punch my shit you are a dumb bitch and i hate you every ounce of my being right now what i need most of all is for the two of you to start getting Get your along. fucking hands off me you stank ass Chloe, bitch i care about joyce i know you do much. i know i'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday if you improve your my fucking camera just tweaked the fuck is that about or attitude going <sighs> forward with an apology I'm willing to start over. Are you still going to date my mom? Of course. And will you still be coming to our house? I plan to. Then I say, go fuck yourself. That's what I thought. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas, like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Why are you looking down? Chloe? 
I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What? What the fuck? Mom, you can't be serious. David and I have discussed it, and we feel this is the only way for us all to have a fresh start. You are a loser. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Joyce, you are a loser. Joyce, you are a loser. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? Joyce, you are a loser, bro. You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Why? Why do you have the option to... Why do you not have the option to say no? Oh, they did that on purpose. This game. This game. I don't even know if I'm gonna... Okay. They did that on purpose, bro. Why do I not have the option to say no? I don't give a fuck about David. She's the one blowing me. Oh my God. I'm about to cut this fucking game off. But that's part of the dynamic. That's what gives it its realism. Is that Chloe don't even see who the real problem is. She don't even see who the real problem is. She literally thinks it's only David. The main fucking reason that her life feels like shit is her mother right there. It ain't even David. She don't even get the vision. She can't even see. That's fucked. I forgive you. You were under a terrible influence. I just worry about you. But that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. See what I'm saying? That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. And she talking about we each other. I didn't beginning. even do shit. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. What the fuck out my face. What does that mean? They getting married. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way. Chloe, after everything that's happened, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Oh, Talk man. to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. You don't care. Please give me the option to say nothing. This is painful, bro. This is so painful. This is so fucking painful. I know I fucked up. You're trying. I get it. She's not doing shit. Um, I'll just say I know I fucked up, bro. Mom, I... I, I know I fucked up. I, I'm a fuck up. I'm sorry. Are you sorry? You don't even know what you're apologizing for. See what I'm saying? And, and, it's, and I, you know, I'm gonna try not to pause no more. Every time I open up, she stabs my shit. She doesn't actually want me to open up. She doesn't want that. She doesn't want it. I've been That's what she you does out every time. Even though I've needed you and you need me and I know that. No, no, none of this is real. But this is not the answer. None of this is real. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. None of this is fucking real. None of it is real. None of it is real. In years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Ain't it kind of funny that he got this coupe? Because that's not a family car at all. Somebody says you reach him with that symbolism. I don't think I am. He has a coupe. That's not a comfortable family seater. You know what I'm saying? I have to squeeze into the back. Even though she's not tall as shit, she still got to squeeze in the back. It's uncomfortable. It's on purpose. They did that on purpose. I'm going to try to slow down with the pause. No, I'm sorry, y'all. Hey! There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe... Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. And then this is the thing about Joyce. I, t I said in the last episode, when you rent to people that don't have your best interests at heart, they and, and you're weak, you're, a, you're an idiot, not only are you easily manipulated, but all of your bad thoughts are easily validated because you, you got a motherfucker that's not gonna check your shit. Oops. Upside down. Sorry, y'all. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Man, I tell you, boy. I tell you. Y'all gotta understand, like, in the last game, Chloe is, she, she was and still is un insufferable. But you have to, you have to understand that even though I acknowledge that part, I acknowledge where it comes from, too. So just because I said in those last videos that I can't stand that bitch, don't mean that I didn't understand what was happening in her life. She still was aggravating the fuck out of me, though. It's the same way I could understand why David is such a bitch, you know? I know what war do to niggas, but you think I give a fuck when it is directly affecting me? Hell nah. This thing is a mess. Maybe I can fix it. You were always healed for that, honestly. Oh, bro, she is such a 
sick woman. I still can't stand that bitch. Joyce is my least favorite character in this entire series so far. I can't name anybody that I hate more than Joyce. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? And the reason why I hate her so much isn't because, or it, it's because she's not purely evil. Purely evil characters, I don't hate because that's the that's the purpose of them is to make you feel disgusted and those people are usually ones that i kill without any remorse in these games like i don't care you can die slow give a fuck but people like joyce actually infuriate me because their character is supposed to make you feel something for them because they have some kind of relatable struggle but the way that they go about it is infuriating it's supposed to make you feel angry those characters hit me so no, much harder than there. like like david is aggravating but Joyce hits me way harder than David does because David was put in this game to piss you off. You know what I'm saying? David was put into, into this game to make you angry and he does it and he does it well but when you thinking about character flow when you think about the life of these characters on the screen why is david here it all traces back to one person why is chloe acting up it all traces back to one person david did not put himself here everything that has gone on so far in her home life is a fucking joyce thing somebody said bro she spent all her hours at work she don't got time to deal with chloe and her shit she's grown nigga all right, bro. The same thing that Joyce claims is hurting her since her husband died is the same shit that the same shit that hurt Chloe. Just because you moved on, don't mean Chloe moved on. And because you moved on, you feel like Chloe should have been moved on. But you never took the time to ever actually help her move on. You don't even know how you moved on besides hopping onto another dick and just going straight to another nine to five or a double, whatever you work to pay them bills. And I'm not, I'm not knocking your grind, but I'm just knocking how you treat your fucking daughter. You treat her like shit. Damn. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. I'm not gonna lie, you're always here. Maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Just the fact that you even feel like you could put a car together is so cold to me. I can't do that. I know I can't do that. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. <sighs> but yeah, man. I, I, like I said, I'm gonna try not to pause. I'm gonna try not to pause, bro. This could cover that torn seat and look awesome doing it but yeah y'all know where i stand when it comes to joyce I, and just in case anybody was wondering why i dislike joyce more than i dislike david it's genuinely explicitly and specifically only because she is so harsh in her pursuit of peace and love in her life that she entirely neglects chloe i don't give david no excuse david is one of them niggas that if i had the chance bullet through his head but that's his purpose his purpose is to be objectively aggravating there's not a single person that has played life is strange that likes david you know what i'm saying there's probably a lot of people that resonate with him but that just outright like nah. him that just outright like him nah not happening and that's his purpose hmm. joyce on the other hand makes you feel yeah she she give you she give you different energy and she's supposed to that's what joyce is, that's what joyce do damn you cigarettes uh, oh my god, I can't stand that bitch, bro. Even just thinking about it right now is fucking aggravating me right now, bro. That is a sickening woman, bro. Every time I think about it, I get aggravated. Now I need a light bulb. Okay. You don't even know what you need. Just more. You don't even know what you need. Just more. All right, bro. How you gonna say you need more, but don't even know what more is? Ugh. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. Somebody, and you know what's fucked up to me? Somebody on my channel genuinely thinks that I hate women for some reason. Because I said I hate, because I said I hate Nicole's mom. Oh my gosh, y'all niggas are crazy. Y'all niggas are crazy. Nicole's mom is just an extremely vulgar version of Joyce. I don't see why you would think I just hate women because I hate Nicole's mom. They're both just neglectful parents. I hate neglectful parents. The fuck? <laughs> Nigga talk about, you just hate women. You're whack as fuck for real the fuck are you crazy you might not work are you crazy then again i hardly ever work talking about i only want to I, I only want to hurt the women in class of 09 bitch i done said openly multiple times what i would do to kyler the counselor the fucking gym teacher jeffrey like are you f the game mostly and, and this is the thing this is the thing if you have a bias in your head about what gender is worse you're gonna think that the game is directing their negativity towards a specific gender when in reality that game is supposed to show you trauma and that everybody ain't shit it's not a single person in that game that's worth a damn and you worried about me getting mad at a uh somebody with a coochie you, you mad at me for getting mad at a, at a woman 
Are you crazy, girl? Y'all, you, you you got a better chance of calling me racist this than you do like sexist, bro. Come on now. Shopping cart. Probably drives like one, too. <laughs> the fuck? That's if it ever does drive. Somebody said, bro, that is... seems questionable. That is not nothing to brag about. I didn't say I was Still, racist, but you got more evidence of that. How sweet would that be? Yeah, way more evidence of that. Who calling me? Who the fuck is on my line this time? Unknown caller, probably my PO, so I ain't gonna decline this time. Hello? Yeah? Frank, it's Frank. What up? Oh. Hey, Frank. Money. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Money on. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... Drugs? Price. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard, that's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And Frank, I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general, or to you? I'll see you soon. Boy, hindsight 2020, obviously, but I don't give niggas my love. You got me fucked up. You about to graffiti her own shit? Turn your light on, do that bitch work? Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> the inaugural truck tag. Man. You only get one chance to make a first expression. Mystical, frightening. Give me some mystical shit. Y'all, somebody say, y'all gonna say I'm compensating for something, bro, but I want an Escalade V so bad. The I sees all. I want an Escalade V so bad. They gonna say, you would want that obnoxious ass truck. You are a bitch. You don't give a fuck about the earth. All right, bro. Just go listen to the soundtrack of that motherfucker hitting all the gears, though. The Escalade V is one of the best sounding cars I ever heard in my motherfucking life, bro. No. It just happened to be a big ass SUV, but that motherfucker sounds so good. And I want one so bad. There's a hole in the earth here. That fucking smoke looks physical. Like you can grab it. I just got mad about something completely unrelated. Somebody said, dude, how do you manage to make yourself mad 24-7? It's easy when your brain don't ever stop. You know what I'm saying? I just got mad because I was looking at Chloe Nails and I was like, damn, she was she was painting her shit before like she she all the way turned over pause i don't mean that like that just when she got really really in her uh goth shit she used to be painting her nails and shit i didn't see her paint her nails not once in the um life is strange one but then they had took me down a rabbit hole of when men paint their nails then they had took me shit. out shit i slept all day if you would look outside you would see that you are not in the same dimension it ain't about sleeping all day you are somewhere what? else <laughs> what the hell don't jump on my Okay, thought it was a jump scare. But yeah, I had thought about um that, how they be saying men be painting their nails and how that's, how that's gay or something. And then I had thought about how they say men with earrings. They just, some, some, you know what? And this is one of the reasons why I don't fuck with that. This is not one of the reasons. But this is one of the things that let me know that them people over there are deranged. A lot of them alpha male, pro men, a lot of them motherfuckers are holding them damn selves down, bro. <laughs> you are holding yourself down behind some fucking homophobia. You are a sick man. And you Dad? know what's crazy? It's a girl watching this like, that's because they're secretly gay. Bro, that's homophobic. You know what I'm saying? You can't insult a man by calling him secretly gay. That nigga ain't secretly gay. He just one of those. He really just hate his life for real. <laughs> the fuck? But yeah, I just went on that rabbit hole just because I seen some nail polish. Why are we eating marshmallows at a nigga's death? You know what? That's whatever. And he still got that wedding ring on. Take that shit off. That bitch not honoring you in real life. Dad? What are we doing here? That shit is a rock. That shit not even marshmallow no more. Are you crazy? Pop, do something with that fucking marshmallow. That shit is rock solid. But you know what? I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Even though I think this bitch look good on me, I love it. I, I, I personally do love it. But I'm gonna be completely honest with you. One of the reasons that I got this bitch right here was to just piss people off that like they felt like that i swear to god one of the reasons that i got this septum was just to piss people off that felt like that for real like genuinely i still love it on me even if motherfuckers it, even if everybody in the, on the planet loved it i would still keep it because it just looked raw on me in my opinion but one of the reasons i got that bitch is just to piss people off oh you're fucking you're one of those like you can bend over it like all right bro little do you know how i take your bitch you feel what i'm saying little do you know but let's Amazing, keep that on the low. Isn't it? I ain't finna keep popping my shit on this away. YouTube. Sure. 
sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Mm. Danger? Fire blinds us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. <laughs> Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Ew, do of getting burned. Ew, ew, the fuck? Ew, the f I've already been burnt, sir. Why is my subconscious speaking to me through my dead father? I've already been burnt over and over and over again. Yep. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. On your brand new truck floor is crazy. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. Did that bitch get her bag ready? Did they kick her out? What happened? They might have kicked her out. Or is she just genuinely ready to go? I don't know. Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Mm. Uh-huh. Car and money. Anything else you'd like? At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. You did that. That wasn't me. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Fuck that mean. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me. Of course. I'm no snitch. I don't even know what you're talking about. I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick, Tater, David. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering this you. This ain't no damn therapy. Y'all not wine, bitch. Get off my screen. The fuck off my screen. You are not wine. I do this for real. I'm about to grade y'all shit. Somebody said, nigga, you ain't never been licensed. <laughs> my well, bad, bro. Doc. My bad, David. Go ahead and rant about that. There's nigga. this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks <sighs> he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? You can't. Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Yep, that's your mama ding Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just to help because you, cope you can't with it. stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? That motherfucker says step douche. Ain't that what she call him? He's a uh, step douche. Because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also... He's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? What does that even mean? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. All right. Ew. All right. And pretty soon they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Just Sorry. preparing you for the worst. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. 
It sucks. Too blunt? Uh, sorry. I, be, I wish that bitch would get I mad about some shit she sometimes. did. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. She just played in your face and now she want to be sensitive. Bitch. Oh, no. Nah. Can we talk about something else? Oh, no. Nah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nah. I said I wouldn't pause no more, man. I'm sorry. That shit just blew me, though. That shit just blew me. Someone said she is not obligated to tell you anything about her life. Well, bitch, don't ask me neither. The fuck is wrong with you? And then you didn't, you didn't, not only did you, did you ask me about it, but then you played with it. You thought it was funny, even though I'm dead ass serious. You thought that shit was funny making jokes about my situation. I didn't even make no motherfucking joke. Yes, I did. I said that bitch was a scumbag, but that ain't no joke. That's the truth. But anyway, now you sensitive. But you was just doing that same shit though. Uh-uh. I don't like you. Watch out. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. I don't even know what the fuck you just said. Bitch trying to be Shakespeare. Get the fuck off my screen. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? I do actually you believe just, that. Whatever you think other people want you to be. I genuinely do believe that. I think you have a personality. R.P. Heath Ledger. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. I was talking about the you. The whole thing is a performance. You are a performance and too. Where do you think you got it I'm from? I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. Because it is. Say that shit to her, Chloe. Same way she did you. He's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? Just fucking don't be like him. <laughs> The fuck? You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. That's a lie. I don't have my option on here. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Because you know deep down you already him. Right. Okay. Good to know. Shit. It's playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh, well. Rachel. All right. Rachel's starting to aggravate me too a little bit. I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Somebody said this is exactly criminal. why people think you hate women. Criminally fun. Okay, <laughs> I'm in. All right. All right. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Oh, good looks. Still fuck you though. You aggravate me. Quit fucking looking back at it. <laughs> Somebody said, bro, why is she aggravating you? She didn't even do shit. This is the second time in a row that I've opened up to her. And when it's time for her to Hello, do her shit, she fucking shack. shuts down and gets extremely sensitive. Somebody said, okay, well, she's justified in her her own emotions. You can't make her do shit. But I'm going to I'm going to tell you that is that is. OK, bro, let me make my let me make my stance more clear. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. The reason why Rachel Amber is blowing me, bro, is because bonus outfits. The reason why she blowing me is because everything that has happened so far has been outside of my family, outside of my family. Everything that has happened so far has been directly linked to her. I, I want a, at least the I, I want a little more than oh, yeah, my dad cheated. Bitch, like, like, give me some reason as to why you really want to leave this motherfucking the city. I got way more reason than you than to leave this city. Your dad is just fucking cheating on your mom. Like, yeah, that's fucking traumatic. But bitch, I'm at home getting abused. <laughs> what the fuck? And you, you, you find that funny? You making jokes about my shit? Uh, he climbing on your mama all night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He about to move in. <laughs> you find that shit funny? Take that shit off. That shit is not rocking. You do not get that shit on. Maybe if you had like a bike, maybe. But you do not get that shit on right now. You're like a damn UA student. I don't even know what the fuck that means. But it just it feels like what she's doing is like making herself feel good off of my shit. But as soon as she has to acknowledge her own situation, it's like eh, I'd rather not. I'd rather you. I'd rather us talk about you than me. <laughs> you, you, you're the one with the problems. I don't even know how to explain it well, but that shit is blowing me for some reason. Nah, ain't no for some reason. That bitch is weird. It's the second time. The first time. What the fuck is this bitch talking about? Why does she got a death mark on it? I'm finna die? Alright. Um, the reason why that shit is blowing me is because it's like... The first time you did it, we stole a fucking wine bottle from these innocent people because you saw some shit that you didn't tell me. Like, like, 
I'm doing shit behind you and don't even know the reason why. That's why it's pissing me off. I'm being open and honest with you and you being all weird. I don't I don't know how to explain it. I guess I guess I don't know how to explain it, but like girl, I I can't stand people like that. Oh god. That's the woman we saw with Rachel. Is that dad. his bitch? Weird. Yo, Frank. It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Price. Get your ass in here. Oh, Lord. And this is the thing I don't like about Frank. If you about to bring this money up, I'm about to get mad as hell. Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that? Ah! Oh! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Yeah, he about to bring this money up. And this is my thing. This is the thing I don't like about you, Frank. I'm a no, fucking high schooler without a job. Ain't never had a job. I don't even know where she's getting the money from. You worried about me paying you back. Somebody said that's not his problem. She shouldn't have, she shouldn't have did it no way. I guess, bro. I guess. But it's just it's just logical sense to me that you loaning shit to a motherfucker that doesn't have a consistent a consistent income. And you expect that shit back. It's okay, little guy. Oh shit! Pompadour! Get up here! Pompadour. You little killer. Whoa, why is nigga steady blowing my phone up, Joe? Oh, girl, come on. I don't even want to hear this shit, but I know what it is. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Then why the fuck did you tell me that, bitch? Okay. Oh my god. So, who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Alright, bro. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. To succeed in back? Okay, yeah, I know, I know. Dude. I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Your customers like you because you're laid back. That's why I like you. So you should keep building up that easygoing vibe, you know? Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? I'm, I'm not. Just hanging with a friend here. A friend I don't know much about. Tell me, Frank. Seeing any girls lately? I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. I thought that hat said nigger. Uh, oh my god. How about that firehouse chili of hers? I'm not talking about the one on his hat. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the one. You got it. Uh, not on his head. I'm talking about the one in that box the in the background. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Yeah, like I see. Who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. I shouldn't have opened my mouth. Mm. Thanks for telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? <sighs> Shit. Really? Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Mm. How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Okay. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Mm. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money 
that I owe you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Oh, okay, I was cussing you out earlier for no Wait, reason, Dan. Do you have it? Give me, like, another week. I don't have enough right now. Tell him that you're I fucking homeless. I'll ever get tired of your crap. Tell him that you're fucking homeless right you're now. Lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? Yeah. Drew North? Y yeah. He's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. Mm. That's smart, I guess. It pays well. Go Bigfoots. Tuh. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Uh. No, I never talked to him. Or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Fuck that man. Anyway, <laughs> here's the job. Bitch. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Uh... Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I'll do it. Boy, what the fuck, boy? What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price, bitch. A hundred dollars closer to bitch. leaving Arcadia Bay. Bitch. That nigga about to go off. Of cash and the truck fixed. Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'm still trying to figure out why the fuck Rachel is I'll trying to it. leave, bro. Good deal. I don't need. I, like she's being. I, I don't know. I need a little more on her backstory, and that's that's exactly why it's kind of blowing me. I'm doing all this extreme shit behind her, and I don't even know what the fuck is really going on. Like, I understand why Chloe wants to leave and why I feel like she should have been left, but Rachel, I don't know what the fuck she got going on except her dad is a thought. Nigga, my dad was a thought. I got like eight brothers and sisters. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't think I'd be back this soon. I ain't saying that this shit don't hurt, but I, I come on, come on now, come on. All right now. Well, here goes nothing. Shit. I go sweaty now. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. Why is that bitch texting me? Why is it running an errand for my dealer? Oh, really? So bad. Come see me when you're done? Let me cut with the shittiness of seeing Vic in my costume. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you got Rachel. I think I may prefer not knowing her name. Oh, my bad. Oh, no, that's fine. Thank you. Alright, bro. Can't do shit right with this bitch. Step out. What down with you? Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. <laughs> I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. You look like well, a you look like a deer, Stephanie. Yeah. So you look what like are you Rudolph. doing here? I'm just picking up something from uh, somebody. It's for a friend. Now I'm really curious. Yeah. What are you doing? What's all this stuff? I'm prepping for the Tempest show tonight. I'm the stage manager. Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, I think I knew that. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey, I wanted to ask you something. What up? Shoot, I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. That's not my bitch. Make a move? So, are you? That's uh, not my bitch. I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours in Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... You go ahead and do what you want to do. She's single. Mm -hmm. You don't get nothing to do with me. single. 
You sure? That's what I said. That's not my girl. I'll see you later, Steph. And she don't even get the qualifications to be castle. one. I'm not building this relationship off of bullshit. That's what the fuck is built off of right now. I wish the fuck I would indulge in that shit with her. She can be a friend. She can be a very, very friend. Locked. I ain't even gonna say close. <laughs> Figures. Damn. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. That's stuff her key, her keys, shorty. Stuff I'll up. see you at the Tempest, right? You don't got no keys for sure. You're useless. How you even how you even go to school here? Who is this, Samuel? Ain't no fucking Samuel. That's Evan. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. What the fuck? <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? What the fuck? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks. Nigga, really if you don't finish taking that picture, that bird. Stop talking. Chloe? What do you uh -huh. want, bro? I've learned something about myself recently. Something that I think you might understand. Okay. I'm I've learned now. that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. Not always. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. Mm hmm. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. Don't be on. passionate about racism, but unless you're so against eager it. To pass <laughs> anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get your keys, though? Grab his booty. You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. All right, bro. Well, at least you ain't gonna snitch. Samil, let me get your keys, shorty. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. Why that bitch in my right ear so deep? Pause. One small flight for this bird, one giant leap backward for Chloe Price. What? Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. The fuck? Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the. <laughs> that works. Uh. <laughs> Look at his waddle, bro. Sorry, Samuel. No time like the present. Is that Wills? Oh no, that's fucking him. Chloe? <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? You don't know nothing about that. You don't know nothing about that, bro. I'm visiting a friend. Fix it Relax. Up. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. Goodness gracious, dude. Can you just go? What's my official business? Okay, whatever. Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. <laughs> Your job is creepy, then. Which makes you kind of a creeper. Oh my god. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? Is Wells pressuring you to write more students up? I'm not even a student, but sure. Don't let that stop you. I thought we were friends. Where is this <laughs> coming from? <laughs> oh my god. I thought we were friends, too, but when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look. I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. Just look the other way, Skip. It's not like I'm up to anything criminal. I just need to use the bathroom. I, I don't know what to do. Damn. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that uh, <laughs> what? descriptive enough? 
I don't want to know about- En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego What is going on utero. on my screen right now? I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Get the fuck. What type of security are you? <sighs> I'm here. I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Oh, thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. All right. You are a fucking... What? Get off my fucking back. Damn. Oh my gosh, dude. Can I handle business without you fucking bothering me? And then, this is my thing. Skip, you're not gonna ask how the fuck I got in, though? I would probably ask how the fuck you got in, if I was Skip. How you're going to get in, All you know right. what I'm saying? Which one is Drew's room? What the fuck is that? Okay, I don't care. Knock. That bitch not here. Why is it open? Okay, I mean, close it behind you, I guess. And then lock that bitch so he don't bust in. Well, he's gonna bust in, pause, but... Okay, <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? I don't know. I'm about to Google it, though. Google, I don't give a damn. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not finna sit. I'm here for the story. I'm not here for the fucking grind. <laughs> you gotta be fucked up. Don't give a damn. Yes. This is kind of fun. Don't give a damn. Did little Drew beat you up too? Get the fucking money and get out if it's in there. <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Now get gone. Okay, got the money. Go through the window. I'm bust out of here. Oh, that bitch is up. Yep, that bitch about to be right here. Yup, yup. <laughs> hey, Elamon. Chloe, what are you doing Fuck. here? Fuck. I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so. Why? Bro. Because he got me in trouble. We gotta go. Oh, shit. What are you doing here? Oh, looking for you, nigga. You got me in trouble earlier. Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff. Let's oh, okay. move. That would have been my life. Somebody said you are not a good liar. Relax. Slow down. Who is that? Oh, that's Damon? Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Drew, what's going on? Don't worry about it. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Mm. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two a days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? Mm. I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way tough time right that's why he know you got yeah. the money bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now where's my money drew i don't know what you expect me to do i can't just make money appear out of thin air oh, i Ooh. want my fucking money you don't have to hit me man i'm gonna oh, drew you are a football Easy. player crack uh, his fucking please. neck open just give me one week. Oh, you're what you're going to lie there I thought football players were supposed to be tough. Somebody oh, said if he does that, he's gonna have to deal with everything yeah. else. Okay, no bro. Steals from me. Oh. No one. Fuck. Fuck. My God. I'm staying with Mikey, bro. You think as a woman I'm about to go deal with that? Let me go. No. Your brother said to stay inside. Hell no. Nah. It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. Damn, 
you were one tough kid. Hell no. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Hmm. Ah! Good luck running on that knee now. Bye bye football. Ooh. I thought that was a stab well, wound I heard. I'm done. Get my money. Or maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. Mm, mm, mm. See you soon. And he not lying. Ugh. Ugh. Drew! It's, it's okay. I'm okay. Little brother. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Keep this shit. I... I didn't do anything. <laughs> you kept my brother safe. Drew? You need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah. Uh, no. No way. Shit. What? Um. What are you going to do? <sighs> about Damon? I don't know. <sighs> One day at a time. Damn. I hear you. It's fucked up. Folks need that money for his family, and I just stole that shit. But I can't give him the money, because then he gonna know I got it. Hell nah. That's why you don't steal, folks. That's why you stay in your motherfucking lane and leave people to their fucking affairs. Stay out of it. Don't got shit to do with you. Because <laughs> now I got to figure out who, who 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 needs the money more. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Do I give it to Frank, who gonna give it to Damon, and still gonna kill Drew because he had to go get it? Or do I give it to Drew, and now Drew's on my ass every time he see me, and then Elamon don't fuck with me no more? Somebody said, why the fuck do you give a fuck about Elamon? All right, bro, you right. I don't know, man. This shit just weird. Moral of the story is, shit get weird. When shit is a weird, stay out of it unless you weird. Most of you ain't weird. Most of y'all niggas is okay. Somebody said, bro, sometimes you be having magnificent takes. Other times you just be talking. And it make me want to hit that, that thumbs down button. All right, bro, you go ahead and do that. It's still love, though. But you go ahead and do that. It make you feel better. If that make you feel justified, go ahead, bro. I don't give a damn about this cutscene. Oh, you want to see Rachel. I fucking... Oh, my God, I forgot. There go that thought Victoria right there. Yes, I think that's her. Oh no, that's Dana. I'm not talking to that bitch. Uh uh. I seen the, I seen the Bob. I knew exactly who that was. Oh, sorry. Thanks, but no thanks. I ain't know. I ain't know. Oh no, it's over here. Yeah, fuck Samantha. I ain't going over there. I ain't even finna try to. Dumb bitch. Rachel. Oh come on, V. You got this. You got this. Oh shit, shit, shit. I can't do this. What is that? I'm going to ruin what is that? Play. You got a beta block? Oh, oh. Oh. What are you two doing here? Two. Didn't that bitch get behind me? Or did you forget? You let this loser dropout sabotage you. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I wanted. Bitch, who are you and fooling? you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Can you stop this now whole prissy shit? please leave so I can shit. get ready for my performance. God. Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. Can we just leave? I'm tired of this bitch. you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe? Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I guess. I mean, even if you are super lame to me all the time, I hope you don't completely suck up there. And even if you do suck, who cares? I mean, let's be real. You're not Rachel. But that's okay, because you're Victoria Chase. You know? Even if you suck. Ah, oh my god. Thank you. Oh, that's exactly what I needed to hear. <laughs> what is she doing? What is she uh, doing? Okay. What is she doing? Cool. T? What are you doing? For your instrument. She about to we put her to sleep. Best tonight. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, uh, hmm. <laughs> I was okay, off key. V. Time to shine. I was off key, y'all. Oh, <laughs> Price, that nah. was epic. Nah. You distracted her just nah. long enough for me to slip those pills into her tea. See what I'm saying? I did. See what I'm saying? Oh, okay. 
I better start getting into costume before... Sweet tarnation. We're ruined. The show is ruined. <laughs> See that what I'm saying? Quick. See what I'm saying? This bitch sneaky. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. What does that mean? That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Uh. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious cursed imagination so cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. Oh! oh. Touché. Oh! Mr. Keaton, perhaps I could fill in for Victoria? Who the fuck gonna fill in my for that dear, other bitch? Your visage is as a vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel, all is still lost. No! What? Oh, no. Mr. Keaton. No. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's <laughs> clear. The cynic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Oh, God. Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. Mind you. Mind you. This is all her. I'm just getting dragged along. I don't want to be around people who just drag me along for the ride. I have no say in what the fuck happens. What if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? Why are you describing my body to me, sir? You're a freak, man. Get back. I'd say you're super fucked. <laughs> Chloe, please. For me. Lord have mercy. <sighs> Do I have a choice? Damn it. I knew I didn't. I knew I didn't. I knew I didn't. I knew I didn't have a choice. <clears throat> and then she's a raven. It's not even a coincidence. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. You talked your goddamn self into this. I am not fucking with this fit at all. Oh, nah. Is that a... Boy, I thought this was a bad bitch on my screen. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm tweaking. What am I doing in here? Why does it feel like Steph is mocking me from afar? See me or Mr. K for makeup kids. Eat a dick. I seriously have to memorize all of this? Thanks, Rachel. Do I actually have to? Oh, all hail great mistress. I boarded the king ship. Not us old king Ferdinand. I'm not going to remember any of that. I'm not remembering any of that. I'm not remembering any of that. Not remember any of that. It's over with for me. I've sold. I've sold the game. Um. That bitch took it. Let's see. All right. He held on to Mikey. He told me it meant a lot to him. Steph says you're a nerd. All right, bro. All right. All right. Did Justin just have a MAGA hat on? Okay, my fault. I'm not gonna remember any of those lines. I'm just letting you know that now. So hopefully she just do it. By accident, most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. <gasps> Thou art inclined to sleep. <sighs> Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. Oh, oh, shit. That shit, I shit. I am ready now. Shit. Get up there. Fuck. Approach my aerial. Come. Fuck. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit. <laughs> Hast thou performed to point the tempest? That I bade thee? Oh, oh, oh. I think it's that one. I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous I think roaring, I saw. the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves uh, tremble. Think I, think I sold. Think I sold. 
who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried. Google! Google! <laughs> you gotta be fucked up. I didn't ask for this. I did not ask for this situation to be thrust upon me. Uh, Chloe, Chloe's play line. Fuck. You, you didn't need to finish the protagonist's point by saying hell is empty. Okay, okay, okay. Cried. <laughs> hell is empty, and all the devils are here. Yes! I fucked the first one up. But are they, Ariel? Safe? I fucked the first are one up. I guess this is what I'm supposed to walk somewhere. Where the fuck I'm supposed to walk? Oh, right here? I think. No. Pause the game. It's awkward. It's awkward. It's awkward. It's awkward. You must head over to the shipwreck at the back of the stage and hit the bottom prompt. What? What shipwreck? I was just right there. I'm definitely supposed to do something with this. I did. I walked up there. This is fucking terrible. Not a hair perished. And uh, as thou baddest me... I have dispersed them about the aisle. Fuck. In troops. Bravo. Fuck. Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed. I sold that first one. But there's more work. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. Oh my gosh. How now? What is't thou canst demand? Shit. I don't give a damn. I don't give a fuck if you mad at me. I don't My care. Liberty. Indeed. Thy liberty? <laughs> Nay. This most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line. Is it? What's going on? Okay, we freestyle. Oh god, oh god, uh... But thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. You're using me. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend. Is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? No. Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. No, it's not. You're fucking Mr. scary. Key, they're way off Shh. script. It's magical. You're a scary woman. Get then back. Then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? Uh, excitement ain't happiness. Excitement's a mere counterfeit of bliss. These storms and these adventures, I prefer to know Thou still cared for my plainest self. Damn. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. Oh, oh. I will not see thee flying Whoa. forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. Oh, no. Then I'll run away. Then there's no other choice. I'll run. I'll run away. Goodbye. Spirit, take my hands. This bitch bowing down to me. Friend. She's trying to get For me. She's trying to trap speech. me. Continue in thy service to my schemes. I will not. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, what? we shall fly beyond this island. That's cap. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I will <sighs> seek to make thy happiness so great that in the name of liberty is forgot. <sighs> what sayest thou? To my most hopeful wish. No, thou. Thou no, the fuck no. Say yes. Say the fuck no. Yes. <laughs> I am most pleased. <laughs> Your duty done for now. So go forth hence with haste. Uh. I have work to do. Oh. You crushed it. Oh. So good. You're a born thespian, my dear. I'll be chasing you down next year. <laughs> And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. Thanks. What the hell just happened? Strangeness. You've been taken. Real? You were sacrificed. Shake it off. 
Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. You're what? Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our You've fire. been taken. Fetch in our wood. You've been taken. What ho? Slave! Caliban! Come forth, I say! On! Nathan, you selling? Uh, mm. As Step wicked said, do, uh, mm. as e'er my mother brushed. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Tresca, a freak show. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Somebody save this man. Fuck you. Where should this music be? In the air? Who the fuck or is that? Rain? Somebody said that's racist. Oh, thank God. This play is super intense. What is it? A Chloe, you've been taken. It carries and I a didn't have a choice. Form, it is a spirit. No wench. It eats and sleeps no wench. And has such senses as we have. <laughs> I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor. I wish I had a sword. I got a staff. I'm about to hatch. I'm about to. I'm about to fuck you up with me? this staff. Oh heaven, oh earth, bear witness to this sound. I beyond all limit of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll Nigga. break. Their senses Nigga. I'll restore. And they shall be themselves. Somebody said, pay attention to the story. I'm I can't now pay attention to the story because I didn't have a choice. She's been taken. And what strength I have mine own. Pray, release me from my bands. With pause, the help pause of your good hands. Ah no. Pause on that move I just did. Pause on that move I just did. Nathan, why the fuck did you come back out? You sold. Go sit in the fucking back. Oh no. Wasn't that fun? No. You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. She even got this bitch using her vocabulary talking about hella dead. Chloe, you're lucky I cheated. They would have been they would have been booing your shit. Look at her. think you bad you got that same ass dress on you probably need to watch that shit stinking bitch you probably smell like mm. <laughs> oh my god keaton's face behind you when you walked on stage <laughs> i was shitting myself fuck <laughs> if this ends on the kiss scene i'm done with this game he was shitting himself not because dude. come on bro not because of that reason it's because this relationship is too damn toxic somebody said that's the whole point though I guess, bro. I guess you're right. I won't. Uh, okay, fine. I just have to accept the toxicity. That's fine. You that the outfit she wear when she died? Let me not jump to conclusions. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate 
of our production rests upon your slender shoulders. And it was getting sexual with it. He was looking at the depths of my shoulders. He was looking at my clavicle. I think that's your clavicle, ain't it? experience like that on stage. Ain't your scalpel on your back and your clavicle on your front, I think. You know you. Like, seriously. I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. That's how it was the few times I did a talent show. First timer, are you proud of yourself? You were literally perfect tonight. I was blown away. Um, still worried. I'm happy, but I'm still worried about Mikey and Drew and where I'm going tonight and all of that. <sighs> You've gone through so much shit today. Right now is pretty good. Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. So, what do you think? Should I run away to be an actress? Let's leave. For real. Where are you? Rachel, where are you going? For real, huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night, let's do it. I, I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Okay. Yeah, but like... Eventually. Let's go now. Didn't we already agree on stage? Mm, we you agreed. Just... I didn't do shit. Why not? Where are we gonna go? How far could we possibly get without a car? I thought you were fixing that truck in the junkyard. Oh, God. I was just seeing if I could. Well, can you or can't you? Well, do you see me in it? Do you see me in it? I'm getting angry, y'all. I'm trying to turn down. <laughs> Maybe. It's I'm trying not to turn like I down. I do this all the time. You'll figure it out. Oh my gosh, but do you hear her? You don't even know what shape it's in. I don't need to because I know you and I know what you're capable of. And this is so fucked up because you get the exact opposite of Joyce and Amber. In the exact words, opposite. We've got transportation covered. This bitch sold you a dream, Chloe. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. She's a magnificent con artist. This bitch could be a salesperson. Oh, I bet you she I get know mad our at this. Parents have been shitty, but we can't just leave them. Chloe, you have the right to leave that yours. Sound like I don't know Chloe what's up Price. with Rachel. I don't know what's up with her. Your mama needs you. Wouldn't it hurt your mom? She doesn't deserve that, right? I don't deserve to live in the middle of my parents' mistakes. That's true too. Right? Of course you don't. That's true too, but what the fuck your mama do? Why, that's that's exactly what I'm trying to figure out. What are you really? You, you seem like I'm, and I promise y'all, I promise y'all, I started this video by saying that's what cheaters don't understand is that they fuck the whole family. But this is a bit much. I'm pretty sure most of y'all can admit that what Rachel is doing is a bit much. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Y'all educate me in the comments. Y'all will educate me. I have no problem with being educated. But in my opinion, her reaction is a bit much. You know what I'm saying? Because your mama ain't do shit. Your mama still love you. Your mama still care about you. This whole let's run away and leave shit, I'm going to need more than what I've seen so far to justify you. Chloe has the justification, which is funny enough because she don't feel like she do. Chloe feel like she just throwing a tantrum and eventually she's going to be all right. Nah, Chloe got reason to leave. Everybody in her life is against her. Chloe don't get shit. Not even you. But what, Rachel, I don't know about you. You, 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 you are a good motherfucking scam. You know what you remind me of? You remind me of when I was 10 and niggas told me they had the method to giving me free Robux. And I was the method to giving them free Robux. I was the method. They made me the method. Them niggas took all my limiteds. Them niggas took all my limiteds. Them niggas told me, download this app on your computer. Double click it. It'll execute a file that'll immediately give you one million Robux. I downloaded that shit. Motherfucker, motherfucker disabled task manager on my computer. How did you even learn to disable task manager on somebody else's computer? 
you're a demon. If I ever catch you in real life, I'm smacking the shit out you. I'll probably never catch you in real life, but if I do, I'm smacking the shit out you because I remember you in your face, bitch. Fuck you. Anyway, that's what Rachel reminds me of. You are a scam. You are a calm artist. You, you con, con. You have sold me a dream. You have sold me a dream. And then, and then when I click money, the only option I'm going to have is, okay, fine, you win because Chloe has been sold. She's already been sold. She's already been taken. She already using that girl lingo. It's over with for me. I don't have an option. Somebody said, obviously, you played the first game. Yeah, I know, but it's just fucked up when you're thinking about it. She's been sold a dream. Rachel Amber is a dream. That's her whole mis her, her whole purpose is to be a dream. The fuck off my screen. Like, what about money? Money on. I thought you were a high rolling criminal now. No fun, yon, no money on. I'm done with that, baby. Nah, I didn't like being a criminal as much as I thought. I'm done More with that, baby. Than I think you realize. Quit using these I words to manipulate right me. I'm <laughs> a no hero. Stop trying Let's to manipulate see. me. Anyway. I've got more than enough to start us out. I always get birthday money for my dad. How much? Or should I say, hush money. So now you're about to go in there and play your role, for sure. Any more questions? I don't have any options, baby girl. I don't have any more options, love bug. So I guess I'll, I'll, I guess I'll concede. Bro. Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? That's some bullshit. <laughs> you tell me. Fuck you what mean, you uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hail. Hmm. <laughs> Hail. Why don't you show me LA? Perfect. 60 degrees every night, you and me on the Santa Monica Pier, gorging on food truck food, smoking up, <laughs> looking at the moon shining on the waves. <laughs> I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> Rachel, stop. Oh, shit. If you don't mean this, it's, it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. Chloe. <laughs> See how she's just tossing you around? Chloe, There's symbolism in that. What would it take to convince you? I don't want to be convinced. A tattoo? <sighs> Do you hear this dreadful ass sound in my ear? <laughs> Bro, she's not about to get none of these. I know for a fact that I don't give her the bracelet because Frank had it in the first game. But I'd rather get the bracelet than the fucking tattoo. The fuck? The fuck? The fact that that's even an option lets you know where this give game stands. Me something I can hold. Something solid that'll remind me what you promised. Okay, like what? How about your bracelet? This bracelet? Yeah. I haven't taken it off, ever. My dad said I wore it home from the hospital, if you can believe that. I don't know why, but it's always reminded me that the world is a lot bigger than Arcadia Bay. Let's see what she, let's see what she say. Like the let's see what she gift, say. Don't you think? You're asking for a lot, Chloe Price. Are you not? I'll give it back when we Are you not? Leave. You dork. I was joking. Okay. Of course I'm going to give it to you. Because I was about to say, are you not? <sighs> okay. I need your help untying this. Is she playing a role again? Or is she actually about to untie it? Now put that bitch on. Now you've been, st now you've been taking part two, Chloe. I hope you know that. Now you've Hi. been taking part two. We'll leave you a little more now. Only a little, huh? What if I said let's leave tonight? Why is it snowing? Mm. Really? How many times are you gonna let this bitch sell you a dream, baby? Come on. What is this? Fucking soots. That's ash. 
That's not even snow. That's fucking ash. That is burn. <laughs> it's obviously a sign. Mm. So? What do you say? Let's go sneak some clothes and stuff from my house. I ain't even say nothing. How you even know that I'm down? We'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. Why do you... Oh, fuck yes. Fuck no. This ain't it. And I hate this for Chloe because she really do need a new life. But I don't know if... I don't know if this would be any better. That motherfucker isolate you from... Well, I mean, it ain't like... Her mama might care a little bit, but like... It's still isolation. I was about to say, you isolate that woman from... You know what I'm saying? Alright, man. You know what? I just, I just feel a whole bunch of ways about this game right now. Why is that statue thick? Well, did I see a titty out? I might have saw a nipple. I don't know why that statue had his nipple out. Talking about the one in that blue dress. Yeah, it does have a nipple out. No, I won't trip. Somebody said, how'd you see it from that far away? I guess I got an eye for those things. That's what porn do to you, I guess. I don't know. Oh, you're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our surprise star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. That's a crazy word. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. I'm sorry, I'm glitching. I'm glitching. I'm glitching. Oh, the fuck is chicken a la king? That, that shit made me glitch a little bit. I don't know. Uh, not hungry. Yeah, no thanks. I'm more of a burger a la king kind of gal. She's funny, this one. I'm aware. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each hey. other at our best this morning. You know what but this is giving? With you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, don't watch that movie. I insist you join us for dinner. But this is giving that plot agree, twist Rachel? and salt burn. Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner? Please? Uh, <laughs> Of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In the meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure okay, thing, is... Mrs. Amber. This is crazy to me. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? I guess. Ah! Totally. Your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. I'm that nigga. And Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know, that I would normally say. Exactly. What does that even mean? Just some quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong? Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. Why? So. You putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Are you a robot? Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could. Never mind. Are you a robot? You're a riot, Chloe. And you're a fucking program. All right, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. I'm talking to a fucking program. Could you stop to the table with you? Like, who is this, Kara? I guess if I lived with some robots, I would want to leave, too. Who's texting me? Shut the fuck up, bitch. No. No. Don't acknowledge that fucking message. Fuck that lady. What am I supposed to do? Talk to Rose? River Rosa. Rose! Sorry, bad joke, but do you give a fuck? Probably not. Yes, Chloe? So, uh, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. She sure was. 
and I imagine whatever trick the two of you pulled to get her back on stage was even more dramatic than the play. I mean. We can be very persuasive together. Persuasive. Yes, that's a word for it. I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. You can? Because it still seems crazy to me. Uh, what did you think of the play? Rachel was typically amazing, but I never liked The Tempest. What did you think of it? To be honest, I only really read a couple pages. Theater's not really my thing. I guess I'm not so into saying words someone else came up with. Fair point. Then again, I'm not sure you can judge the entire art form based on the dead white men your curriculum focuses on. <laughs> what the Damn. fuck? Damn. Shots fired, Shakespeare. <laughs> what the fuck? Integrity, honesty, loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official. The more wife. things you learn to like, the happier you will be. Uh, strong words, a merry life. The fuck does that mean? Oh, acknowledging the strong words? Uh, or married life. I don't know. Strong words. Those are some strong words. I didn't, I didn't know she was going to say that last part. You think part. he lives up to them? He's fantastic at what he does. Of course, he's only human. Okay, bitch, you or know. subhuman. What? What? I, I thought you said something. You uh, know. Nope. Rose knows. She knows. Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a deer and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a deer. I will be a Talking deer. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Why this motherfucking statue poking though? Damn. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Chill. Chill, bro. Hiya, Mr. Uh, Amber. I'm losing it. Chloe, what can I do for you? So, you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. Nice. So, I can call you if I'm ever district arrested? What would you be arrested for? It was a joke. Not a good one, clearly. Huh. Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's so awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? Yeah. Uh, uh, me neither. Okay, so, yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, Rachel, Rachel. What do you think? Rachel. I thought Rachel was If I lived here, I'd probably be trying to run away, too. She certainly was. I'd be trying to we run away, too. I'm proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. I'd run away, do too. what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just meant the wizard part. Uh, I suppose that's also true. What's what your what wife, is, what Mr. What is this nigga even talking about? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah. Let's say Sherry. This bitch act like he don't talk like that okay. outside this house. Nigga, we know One, when you go to the bar, you using all two, type of slang. Three. Sherry. Comical. You are a... Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. Why you're a fucking face I'll on a face? give it a shot. Why you cut someone's face Ooh, off and Rose use it as a I, mask? We're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? You have a fucking balloon face. Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. Another truth. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I venture to say the same for every human in this motherfucking house right now. I said I didn't have concerns <laughs> about your friendship, but... <laughs> Perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now. You are a you are a face on a face. I'm not taking you seriously. And then he blocks uh, his face because I keep talking about it. Thanks. That bitch got mad. That bitch got mad because I was talking about his face on a face. Nigga, you ain't shit, nigga. Yes, Chloe. Why are you a face on a face? The boss man. Somebody said there's like symbolism in that. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. 
You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. That joke wasn't funny. I wouldn't have laughed either. Come on, Chloe. You gotta hit something harder than that. Damn, did that make me a robot because I ain't laughing at that? What's up with all these? Damn. <laughs> Somebody said, why are you. I'd rather do it to a statue than a person. The fuck? Glasses. Damn. The embers are What fancy glass is that shit. in the middle? That shit don't like a that shit like a butt plug for a damn hippo. What am I looking at? Uh it's the triangle shaped one. See, and that's the exact one that I'm that's the exact Basic one that shapes. I don't understand. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. The triangle shaped one. Triangle? What? All right, bro. You know what? The, uh, you know, shapes is in the eyes of the beholder, I guess, because that bitch look like it'll ev it'll eventually form a triangle. But whatever. It got a bottom and two sides that form a, a peak. Yes, Chloe. What do I? So, am I crushing it? This dinner would be taking literally minutes longer without you. It's the crushing first ounce it. of personality you got out of this whole fucking. You know what? I want you off my fucking screen. And I have to set a bitch glass for him. He's a fucking dick in the ass. Uh. <laughs> Girl, he probably liked that shit. You probably just you probably just activated him. He don't even know why. That motherfucker had a little that motherfucker did a little flick. <laughs> oh god, what's happening? <laughs> Must be Sarah thinking about me. Yeah, nah, motherfucker just put some funk on your shit. Yes, Chloe? <laughs> what else? <laughs> feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in it's the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. Don't ever use that word with me. I think. Don't ever use that word with me. I don't know what it means. Light some candles and bless this joint up a bit. Don't ever use that word with me ever again, because I don't know what it means. <laughs> if I call you a bitch of preparedness, what that mean? <laughs> They're just making me angry for some reason, y'all. I'm sorry. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? Ha! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Jokes. That bitch not even moving. It's talking about TikTok and nothing is even moving. So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Not anymore. Not since this morning. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. Nah, that's cool. <laughs> We're not. What about that fire? Rachel did this shit. <clears throat> Rachel Dinner's did it. Really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Scary. It's strange, because life is strange. Uh, it's almost surreal. They say a fire like that could only come from a crime of passion. Passion? What does that mean? I don't know. You tell me. Because... <laughs> You're the DA, of course. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I ain't been society. a house full of Republicans. This is fucking... <laughs> I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now it's that you and Rachel Reagan have on my become screen, friends... Bro. I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Stop it with the fake cool. pleasantries, woman. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative, imperative. in such troubled times as these that we remember imperative. what is most important to us. You talk like that for real, Family. bitch. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for. Lord and never, mercy. ever taken for granted. Uh. uh, 
Yeah, that's super true. Uh, and also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. <laughs> I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. Absolutely, each their oh, own. Oh, fucking blow me. Yeah. She let it out. Rachel! She let it out. Why do I have to do anything? Why do I have to do anything? Explain it. Uh, uh, that's just a little inside joke we have together. Uh, no, <laughs> you blow me, Rachel. Chloe, stop. To. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite, okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Yeah! Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel, honey, whatever Tuh. you saw or think you saw, Tuh. I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. I don't know about that That's last part. Enough. That last you part is crazy. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of you. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. <laughs> a broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have Ooh. you continue to Oh, Rose. Oh. Amber about to fucking snap. She about to do that Wendigo screech. Rose. Oh. Stand up, woman. Uh. Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying. Stop being a politician for one fucking minute. Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. What was that? That was your mother. To. I mean, that's still a, ain't that still ain't you still cheating on your ain't you still cheating on your wife though? So yeah, you may have passed this other woman off as my mother. Yeah, that that is a that's another level of betrayal. You really just made everything worse for yourself. But ain't you still cheating on the wife now? You're still a liar. You're still a bitch. You still ain't shit. You talking about imperative? Yeah, it's imperative that you go throw yourself off a mother. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I went too far. I went too far. I'ma shut up. I'ma shut up. From the perfect start to the finish line. And if you're still breathing, you're the lucky ones. Cause most of us are heaving. Fuck that mean you killed Drew? Collecting knives, oh. <laughs> the lovers that went wrong. I've lost it all on just stars. At least it's not a Confederate flag. I'm a lifeless face that you'll soon forget. You getting comfort from the very man that put you in this situation. You're a loser. Most of us are 
bitter over someone Setting fire to our insides for fun To distract our hearts from ever missing out That, that nigga said, that nigga said, that isn't my mistress, that is your mother. Nigga. So who am I living with right now? Your wife, right? And when you kiss another bitch, when you cheating on your wife with another bitch, what do you call that? An affair, what are you doing an affair with? As a man, it's a mistress. That's a fucking mistress. You are a thought. You are a thought. It doesn't even matter if it's my biological mother, bitch. You are a thought. You still cheating on. You still cheating on Rose. You're still cheating on Rose. Unless Rose is just an appearance mirror, that'd be fucked up. Maybe that. Wait, but damn. Maybe that's why Amber don't feel like she. Bitch, that motherfucker hit me in my face. I gotta get my get back for that. Maybe that's why Amber uh, feel like her home ain't real because the, the mother never gave l motherly love. You know what I'm saying? Tuh. All right. You took the blame for Rachel. You went along with Rachel's story. Yup, yup, yup. You emptied your pockets at David's request. Yup, yup, yup. You stayed with Mikey. Yup, yup, yup. You asked Rachel to give it a bracelet. I asked Rachel for a kiss. You niggas are freaks. You niggas are freaks. Yeah. I agreed. Why 76% of you niggas agreeing to start over with that bitch? Fuck him. Rachel attacked James at the dinner. You told Rachel you like to go like, and line. You encourage Victoria for the play, hell yeah. You didn't give Samantha advice. Fuck Samantha. Fuck Samantha. You didn't return Drew's money to him? Damn. Tell her Steph that Rachel was saying, because she was. That ain't my bitch. Shit. Shit. All right, man. The next episode is the last one. I'm excited to hurry up and get that bitch out the way. I might do it during this weekend. Y'all let me know in the motherfucking comments down below. That probably was hurting your motherfucking ear. I'm so sorry. I'm kind of hyped though because that's the last episode until Life is Strange 2. And I'm really excited for Life is Strange 2. I just had to get before the storm out the way because I ain't want to jump into that shit without knowing Chloe's full story. And really Rachel's because y'all saw how I was hostile towards Rachel earlier. I had to get the motherfucking backstory of her life. If I had parents like robots too, I'd probably be running. I'd probably be trying to run away just like she is. My mother isn't even my mother. Who is this woman? She's a program. That's Kara. You've bought her. Oh, okay, for sure. Just trying to make sure that that's what's actually happening. You bought my mother. But then you didn't buy my mother because my mother was out there kissing you in public. Why are you keeping my mother away from me? See, that's a whole nother portrayal on another end that I don't understand. So I can't even blame Rachel, but Rachel, you still weird. I don't want to run away with you. Even though you have justification for running away now, well, more so than before, still don't get it a little bit. Still feel like Chloe's a little more justified, but this is not about who's more justified. Still don't want to run away with you. You're unstable. You're not thinking. You're not thinking this through properly. Even even Chloe, with her unstableness, is thinking this through way more than you. That means you're dangerous. That means you're a dangerous character to be around. I don't know if I trust you. I don't trust you. It's not. A, it's not. A, I don't know. It's very sure. I don't trust you. Stay away. And then you and then you did that emotional manipulation that wasn't even in the play on the stage in front of everyone because you wanted me to say yes. You forced it. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to say no. I'm not running away with you. It's not in the plan. I'm kind of just being dragged along, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting dragged into your bullshit and fighting with you and fighting for you for shit that don't get shit to do with me. You ain't fought for me not once. Somebody said, didn't she fight for you in the principal's office? Think about this. Think about it from Chloe's perspective. Think about it from Chloe's perspective. She didn't want to go to that school no way. She was already ditching every motherfucker day at that motherfucking school. She didn't want to do that shit. Her favorite motherfucking subject, she still wasn't going to class, which is chemistry. She still wasn't going to class. She was already on ac 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 academic probation before that. You hear me? She was already on academic probation before that, which is why she got suspended on that last infarction. It's over with. And she knew it was over with, and it been over with. Rachel didn't do nothing but just get herself involved to try to make it look like she was standing up for some shit. But truly, and been said truly, she don't give a fuck about this school. She been said that. Been said that. So what did Rachel really help, though? Because then guess what Joyce even, even, though, even though Rachel tried to stick up for me Joyce still got up outside Joyce still got up outside And tripping on me And that bitch definitely not LMA I wish the fuck I would Pull that comparison You are not her Man look 
That is Life is Strange before the epi- mm. Life is Strange before the storm epi- Man, like if you fuck with it Like button Like button if you fuck with it Comment if you got any of the games you want me to play Subscribe for more content like this I'll catch y'all niggas in the next one Peace